There are a lot of different preferences that you have access to inside Perfect Photo Suite 9 that will help make your editing process even easier. To find your preferences, go up to the top left-hand corner of your screen, select the Perfect Photo Suite 9 menu, and choose Preferences. There are four different tabs, and the first is the General tab. Right up at the top, you can choose your working color space. This will be used anytime you create a new file or open a file that doesn't have a color space. I can open this drop down menu up and I can choose a new option if I'd like to. Down below, you also have things like scrolling controls. You can adjust your preview background color and you can even change which program you'd like to start the suite in. I like to choose browse so that I can browse for my images first, but you also have the option of opening immediately into perfect layers. Next to the general tab is the plugins tab. At the top is the smart photos section. Anytime that you open up a Photoshop file into the suite, whether it be through the standalone or through programs like Lightroom and Aperture, you have the option of giving the program the ability to ask each time and saying whether you'd like to edit as a smart photo or not, or whether you'd like it to always choose smart photos or non-smart photos. Whichever choice you select, you can always come back into the preferences and change. Down below is the Lightroom section. Anytime you take an image from the Lightroom Plugin Extras menu and it's a RAW file, it will create a copy of that RAW file using these adjustments like file type, color space, bit depth, and resolution. I always like to make sure that the stack with original option has been checked so that my original file will be right next to my newly edited file after I'm done. The next tab is going to be your performance section. The memory usage and RAM usage are all the way up at 80% and I like to make sure that I keep them up that high. That will make sure that my computer is putting a large amount of its energy into running the photo suite when I'm using it and it'll make the program run a lot faster. The last tab is going to be services. These are all of the different online storage services that you have access to and you can pull images from inside Perfect Browse. You'll notice that I have Dropbox, Google Drive, and my iCloud photo stream checked, but not Microsoft OneDrive. That's because I don't have a OneDrive account, so I've unchecked that so I don't have to see it in my sources pane on the left-hand side of my screen. You can check or uncheck any of these different options to access them. Once you're done inside the preferences, go ahead and just click OK and those changes will be saved.